Welcome to Tech Quickie. Today we're going to tell you all you need to know about RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 10 as fast as possible. You've probably seen reference to RAID somewhere, but what does it mean? It stands for Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks, and it basically means using multiple drives or disks to achieve better performance and or better reliability. RAID 0 is all about speed. It contributes nothing to reliability except to actually make it worse. So it involves taking two drives or more and actually striping the data across all of the drives. This means you get to keep all of your capacity and you get to have, in theory, with two drives, double the read and write performance, but in the event that one of the drives undergoes a hardware failure, you will lose all of the data that was stored on both of the drives. This configuration is only ideal if you're going to be doing very frequent backups or if you are going for the most extreme performance possible, such as running multiple SSDs. RAID 1 is all about reliability. You get the capacity of one of your drives. You get the performance of one of your drives but you get the redundancy of two drives. That means if one of these two drives I have here fails outright, all of the data will still be there. There's no performance overhead for running RAID 1, so you're still gonna get the full performance of the drives, but the more drives you add to a RAID 1, you're always only gonna get half the capacity that you would otherwise have. The advantage of RAID 1 is it's extremely safe, so I would trust most important documents to a RAID 1 array. RAID 10 combines what's good about RAID 0 and what's good about RAID 1 into the same thing. So you're taking four drives, you're striping these two and striping these two, then you're mirroring these two against these two. So what that means is you get about double the performance of an individual drive, you get double the capacity of an individual drive, but you could lose up to two drives in a RAID 10 array without losing any data. This is great where performance is needed, space is needed, but you don't necessarily want to invest in an expensive RAID card solution like this one. There are types of RAID that we haven't covered in this episode, but we will make another one, so there will be an annotation once that's done. You can go ahead and click on that to learn about them, but those are generally reserved for more professional applications. If you are deploying some kind of a RAID configuration, I would definitely recommend posting in the LinusTechTips.com forum and asking for some help, because RAID can be a little bit tricky to set up. Last but not least, RAID is not a substitution for backing up. Redundancy is not the same thing as a backup. Even if you're running a RAID, you are still susceptible to things like viruses or accidental deletion or other human error, so make sure that you're doing regular backups. Thanks for checking out this episode of Fast as Possible. Make sure you subscribe to Tech Quickie and also like the video, it helps us out a lot. Share this video with anyone who you think would benefit from it, including embedding it on your website. Consider this my go ahead to well, go ahead. Also, if you can think of any other fast as possible episodes that you'd like to see, click the link in the description to post in the forum thread. We will monitor that and we will make sure that we check it out. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.